Here's a very, very late 70s or very early 1980s Micronta alarm clock from Radio Shack. My uncle, who has since passed away some years ago, used to work for them at that time, and he got this clock, I don't know if it was on discount or return or what have you, but it was always in my grandfather's house where he was living at the time, and he never took it with him, it stayed. Uh, it has, it appears to be a vacuum fluorescent display, but it's green, more of like a turquoise green instead of the, you know, more blue vacuum fluorescent displays. I love this clock because I remember it from my childhood, but I hate the way it works. Let's go over some of the preliminaries here. Looks like it's a Micronta 63751. And it tells you how to set the time and the alarm. Two watts only. Uh, 120 verts. Vert, <laughs> 120 volts. 60 hertz, of course. And you have your time and alarm set right there. And your fast and slow buttons. And a snooze button on the bottom. And I'll show you that when we set the alarm. Let's get the time set first. It also has a 9AO sticker. So that might mean 1979 or 1980, perhaps. I'm not sure. Oh, and there's also a couple of controls on the back for alarm on off and the brightness high and low. We'll get to all that in a second. Okay, I have the alarm set. And you see it only flashes the top dot of the colon when the alarm is turned on. Incidentally, this clock has been plugged in probably since it was first brought home. Whether it be at my grandfather's house or here, it's been plugged in since about the early 1980s or very, very late 70s. And it's still working. The... There's the alarm. It's really all you get. Not very loud. It may have used to have been louder. It sounds louder on the thing here. But the snooze button, you can of course just hit the switch in the back, but the snooze button works like this. You just push the clock down and it hits the switch and then like nine minutes later it'll go off. So that's how that works like that. Works pretty nicely. That's the dimmer. It's really almost unreadable at this point. Like I said, this has been plugged in for Oh, going on almost 40 years now. Uh, but, you know, at the high brightness, the display, it's worn. I mean, you can see if you look, I don't know if the camera will make it out. Like the PM, the lower part of the P and the M are dim. And on the number 5, there are some bright and dim spots, as well as all the rest there. And then we'll hit the other switch, and the entire colon will flash. So that's your alarm, or the entire colon. Now, I don't like the setting of this clock because it's only got the fast and slow, and if you overshoot, then you got to go all the way around like 24 hours again, and that's a royal pain. But the other thing that I don't like is that when you first plug the clock in, it starts counting the seconds. So you can't synchronize this with another clock in the room unless you watch that clock and then plug this thing in the instant that clock changes. And even then, you'll never get it quite, quite right, but that's really par for the course. Especially if that outlet where you're plugging it in is, like, right behind the bed or something. So you have your arm, like, stuck down in there, and you're trying to get it just right. And then the next power outage, you're going through the same shit all over again. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. But otherwise, it's a really cool clock with a really cool display. I don't use it as an alarm clock. Um, you know... I just use it as a clock clock in a place where there's another clock, so there doesn't need to be a clock there. But because it's, quote-unquote, been in the family so long, I keep it. It has one of the newer style, hard-to-electrocute-you plugs on it, like the thumb guard there, so you don't, like, hold the prongs as you plug it in. I mean, you can, but you won't get too far, because that's all that would stick out. But it is non-polarized. You can have some oxidation on the plug leads. Interesting. So once again, this was the Micronta 63-751 alarm clock with simulated wood grain finish. 
and a green VFD display. I love this clock. It's awesome. And I also hate this clock because of how the time is set on it. But it's here. It's extraordinarily faithful. It keeps perfect time. Does its thing. It's just there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.